Hi there, everybody. Don Sporbad here. And welcome to Plankerton. So today we're going to go over West Amp North and try and build it for you. So, might as well go right on it and get started here. So, uh, you can see my amp set up here. Here's West Amp here right above us. And then we have E on the hill. And then we have D over there in the bottom corner. A straight south of the home base. And C all the way in the other bottom corner. So it's a little bit of a different amp setup on this account I have mine here. I have home base east as well as north. It's kind of kind of nice endurance. You get two choices. Um, if you have my other build for the home base, you could probably cheapen it up a little bit like this. I don't have too many problems with uh, stuff in here. Still have traps out here, of course. But that's all I have across. But that's up to you. I think I had way more in uh, my build there. So we're going to come up here. And here's our amplifier. And we might as well start down by the amp. And we'll just cover it in. We'll go all the way around. There we go. Done. There we go. Alright, we'll just box up our amplifier. And then we'll start heading north here. And I'll just kind of put some floors and walls down. So we'll have one wall there. And then over by this ramp here, there's the amp. We'll put a wall there. We can place a short wall here. Throw another wall there. And then floors and stuff will go here. And two at the two at the bottom. We might as well do all the floors. And three here. So just like that, so spawns out here. Kind of in this area. You'll get one way up there by that tree. And you'll also get some on top of here. All right. And since we're right here by this archway, there's this nice arch in the in the uh, cliff. We're just take a few walls and we're gonna put them down here. Just like that. And then, since we're doing archways, we'll go over here. And I'm gonna start from up there, up in the top of that one. So our amplifier is over there, and just to the west here we got this nice little tunnel here. So we'll do two floors and two floors, just like that, around this corner. And then we're going to wall it in, just like that, and all the way around. that and then ceilings of course like that and then we'll come down here and place one there so it's just a nice little box tunnel here and then we'll have to uh, we're gonna edit our walls here nice short wall like that we could place one there, one there, and if you really want, you could put one there. You don't need that one, but 
<laughs> I just put it there. So they have to go this way and just a little bit this way. Like that or something, make him do a zigzag through your tunnel, you know, like this. That will slow them down. You won't notice it, but it will. Just a little. So, but we're going to stick with those two. Then we got a little bit of building out here. Because this is different than my uh, other one, right? Because my other uh, build for around this area and for the side of this one. This is west here, by the way. We get two uh, sides on this amplifier, north and west. So west here. And we have this ramp here, of course, and I have it blocked all the way. And I have, you can see, a couple tiles there as well. And that's basically to keep these guys from going way over here, way over here, and then coming up in this area and in, right? On that ugly terrain that's over here. Because they'll come up there and there. And in the corner there. So we have a spawn up here too, remember? So there's four wall darts down there. And probably a floor under here. And I think these ones all don't have floors. They shouldn't anyways. Alright, so we'll come back to here where our little tunnel is. And we're going to place a wall there and a wall there like that all right and then two ceilings there then we're just going to corner this in if you guys have it you don't have these pieces here just put another wall or something or you could put these in, it's up to you. If you need the structures. And that's basically it here. Um, I, I would think you could maybe place another one there and there. Like that. A couple more. That's how I had it anyway, so it's like that. I didn't want to get fancy and put tires and all that stuff. I just wanted something to stun them. <clears throat> and then we had three walls over here. Like that. And that's mostly for lobbers and flingers if they do decide they want to go all the way around to the north, because they can. They can go all the way around here and then all the way back around to the other side. <clears throat> so that's it for here. Then we'll go back down below again. And I really don't have a lot in this area here. Okay, we'll start here though. So we'll start on the east side, put a wall. Go behind it. Another wall. And then we have two more floors here. A little box. Put three see, uh, three walls there as well. We don't need anything there. And then this side as well. We have walls. And actually, we'll place them this way. I just didn't want to put them backwards. As you can see, this looks like the back side. And this is nice and smooth in the front. They say it makes a difference. So I've heard people test it and they notice it actually makes a difference. But that was a long time ago, so I try to always put my walls the right way. Try to. All right, and then coming in from spawn here down the smooth ramp straight in. Another wall here, it's this double wide ramp. And then we could put a wall behind here. And a short wall in the front here, like that. And 
and we have another wall there as well and we'll have ceiling and a cone on top just like that just to block one half here and then we'll come up top and we're just going to put a little bit of layering here just to keep the husks from coming on this side It's just go it just basically goes all the way around. Just like that. There's two here. And one there. And place a wall there. Floor. Ceilings as well. We do gotta box this part in as well here. Like that. Ceilings here as well. One outside, like that. And we can come up top here and we'll just finish this here. There'll be a lobber shield yet too. Probably don't need all these tiles, but I do have two sticking out here. these two. Yeah, so we're here where this is. We're actually going to put walls there. And it is actually three of them. We'll carry on with the lobber shield after. So we should have all this built here. And we got some small walls here we're going to add it into. And we can place one there. And one there. Just like that. And then over here we had one on that side. And one on that side. This is just to keep them from wanting to go up that way. And if they're over here, then they'll come out this way, hopefully. <laughs> and then up top here, have a few walls. I did have a pillar wall here, like this. Just three on one side. Oh, of course, ceilings as well. And I just had two of them there. So we should be looking pretty good here. That should be all of our tunneling. So we'll take a cone here. We're going to pre-edit this way. So we have a ramp. Then we'll come up here, place one down, and across as well. We have to edit this corner here, just so it corners in with this uh, box here. And then we're going to go all the way across, I believe it's that one. 
No, one more. It's one hiding in a tree. And we actually do have to cover this right in here as well. And all the way across. And actually down here as well. I might not need, I think it's this one, but I'll check it in a minute here. And we have one just kind of hanging out like that. Because believe you me, <laughs> they can throw through here. They're standing anywhere in this area, even with this dynamo and stuff here. I didn't want to get all retarded and just do that, so I just thought three tiles instead of more traps and stuff in this area. And my AFK spot is there as well, so that makes a difference as opposed to my other one is up here above this amplifier. This is like one that it's not placed. So now we gotta go get back up there. Alright, and we should put one more, uh, I think it's one more, yeah, one more layer you can throw here. I know it's quite a bit, but you can test it and remove the second layer on the top if you want. I put it in because you need it for traps. Alright, so we go two up from our, from in here. So it's just one tile, two tiles high, and then two tiles again on top. And then all the way in the north west corner here, we'll start here. And it lines right up with this ridge. And we'll just put some tiles here. And just up to the tree. Which is the edge of the that ridge below us. Two tiles wide. cover in this as well here if you wanted like this and then we have ceilings down here as well oh wait never mind never mind not those two um, I think I was missing that one, sorry. Two tiles high here. That's how it goes. That's where our three across the front are. these three just like this so we'll come back around to the other side we need some floors I know this is kind of different heights here, but we'll place it out to here. We can't put one there. We can place one more. Or can we place that one? Oh, no. You have to leave one out. And this one as well, we have to leave out. And this one as well, I guess. Yes. I'm just gonna put one there. And 
basically matches up with this tile. So a little archway through the cliff here. All the way across. And then another row in front, which is four tiles, two tiles, and one. Lines up with this ridge here at the edge. Then you could wall this in on this side. Oops. Just like that. There we go. And we'll f don't forget to finish this up here. I wasn't taking zero chances with this. That's why it's so big. It lines right up with the home base there. So if they do get anywhere in that area, they don't have the intimidation to throw. I don't think this top row is needed out here. Maybe just up to here or something. Or here. Because, well, I don't know. I'll, I'll test it later. and Maybe I'll do some smashing after I'm done building here. So we're almost done our lava shield, but we have to come up here. I'm gonna get some more of these again because we gotta place something for this side because they can stand down in here and throw, and we don't want that. We're baiting them. Let's just need two tiles high and three wide. Just a few there. Could probably just go put one there, I think. Oh, oh they may want to break that wall, and I almost would keep the second one. Yeah, and we should be safe here. You can place you could put stuff here if you wanted. I don't know about this tile. This one here you could put one for sure. Then that way you have traps actually to be honest. And then same as here. Might be a better idea. We're just clean gonna clean up this corner. This is that vulnerable tile I was telling you about. We're gonna clean this up a little here and make it look nice. So we got a second wall there. I wonder. How many tiles high am I here? One. Maybe we will put one ceiling up there. We'll just match a couple extra here. That might be a better idea. Don't need that one. I wonder. Just to keep... Because now we don't have crowd control, so we can use tires. I was wondering about putting a couple sets of tires right there. Maybe we should. walls. Two ceilings there. Like that. Make this a little bit better. There we go. Clean up. You can leave that open there because they won't throw through it. They can't see the amplifier from anywhere around here. Because B is actually right there. But that is why I covered this side over here. Wherever I covered it here. Because they would be able to probably throw right through here and 
kind of that direction. Okay, that's better for our, our top. I couldn't make my mind up if I wanted traps there or not, but I'm just going to put tire traps all in this area. Basically on every tile there. We still got to finish this side here though. I don't want to cover it in so I don't because I don't want them thinking they can go walk through here. You never know with husks. So how are we gonna do this here? Hmm. I may have to use a wall like that. Now this is where it gets touchy. Hmm. Do I really want to do that? No, oh, that doesn't do anything. We may have to put some walls up there. Well, that's a little disappointing. I'm telling you, man. Lobbers and flingers, if they get that angle, they'll throw anywhere. I'm thinking they might get the idea they can stand down in here and throw through the little sliver there because they generally if they can see that blue light that's kind of their angle they're looking for so I bet you they would throw through here it's hard to say I don't think this I think this is past their distance I'd have to check because you might even need one more here you could try ceilings and see what happens instead of using this because it'd be two tiles as opposed to four or five. But I'm going to do it like that. I do believe that's everything now. I know it's a really big lava shield. Like I said earlier, you could probably remove the first layer off the east side, maybe see what happens. I don't think I forgot anything. I think we can start trapping now. <clears throat> A wall there. Here's our amplifier. Just on this ramp, I've had one on the opposite side. <clears throat> Should be the entire build. Yep. All right, let's go place some traps. So we'll start at the amplifier, and we just have uh, anti-air traps, range reload, range reload, and Dura with heals. And we'll place five all the way around the app. And we'll come to the north side of the amplifier. I'm going to take some wall darts here. Could have healing on them if you wanted. And on all the north walls, we're going to have wall darts on here. Yes, I like wall arts. And then this wall, and this 
last one as well. And the one behind here. And last but not least, there. And then this tile. You can see that one after. All right, so basically every wall, looking somewhere, there's a wall there too. And the north side of the amp. Is this one I trapped out pretty heavy. It's, uh, I don't know, I have difficulties with it sometimes. Because if they do bust that vulnerable tile that's down there, that takes two tiles of damage away, which isn't a good thing. It has to get through there and they'll get farther up here. So that's why they have the extra traps at the end. So do wall dynamos now. The short wall and then these two in here. Then we'll start heading down the tunnel and on that wall. Then we'll take it. a tarp it. We can use two of them. Ceiling zappers. I have double damage. You could put another crit damage here, or reload or something. This is my other account, so I don't really have the greatest of traps, as you guys can see here. So, yeah, <laughs> still works pretty good, though. And then, since we're on ceiling zappers, any tile that's uh, one high, even that one, they all get zappers. And that one outside as well gets a zapper. So everything here. And then up this tunnel. And up here, all zappers. Alright, let's carry on trapping. So we need uh, some wall dynamos. Now, just hang on a minute here. So, that one. Yep, that'll be the last wall dynamo for now. We have some more to place. And our dynamos, of course, are rolled like this with reload on them and heals. I only have two of these, and I'm going to use them at the end of the tunnel. These are double reload, crit rating damage, double reload and heals. And these are those other ones. I only have two of these because that's all I have left. So just to make sure, we'll put one here and one there. Opposite of these other two. If you have the same dynamo, it doesn't matter, use it. But I just have two that have different reloads, and I want to try it out. Then I get more uptime between the two dynamos. They're not reloading at exactly the same time. So then you get that little kind of offset, so which is nice. So you get a little more consistency in your damage inside of the tile space. And then wall darts. And then that one at that end as well, and one at that end. And down here we have one, and we also have one here, straight in the tunnel from the beginning, one to the right, and two up there, and we'll place a wall dart here, inside our little box, one there as well, and a wall dynamo, there. And one on the short wall. And of course our nice wall there behind. And then out in the very front here. And since we're on the outside on the in here. We're gonna take two wall darts. Place them on those two tiles. And then, so we don't forget, we have three across here. And I have one there. 
and then our wall dynamos. It's kind of important. This is to this is how you do interesting things. I don't know about that one, but that one should work and hit the husks, and that one should because I was I think dynamos can hit down. So we're gonna place on all three of these dynamos and a wall dart. Let's basically try to get rid of anything in this area. <laughs> so if it wants to try to come in here and the ceiling zapper as well. You could box that in to make it look nice if you wanted. I might. There we go. Alright. I think that's everything for out front. So we'll place some tire traps now here. It's got one reload Aldera. They're most likely going to burn out on me. They're only blue rolled, but... And the last one right here, we'll place it that way. You could make it up one tile higher and bring it down. But that uh, should be just fine. And I know they're only two tiles high, you could make them three. You just have to like step it down right from here. Like this row of tiles you could bring one higher and all of those. So you don't then you wouldn't need these walls. But you'll see later why I got those walls there. I put wall darts on them for whatever spawns up there. And then over here we'll place one that way. That way. We can place these two this way. So it pushes any husks that way. Because they're directional, they will uh, make the husks bounce a certain direction when it staggers them. So make sure you always place tire traps kind of looking towards your objective, and the husks will go backwards when they get knocked down from the tires. Whereas if you were to place one that way, which is backwards, looking the, looking towards spawn, the husks will actually go faster into your tiles. So you can use them sideways as well, like I did there. I put four of them sideways, so it takes any husk in that area and throws them that way. You might not need one there. I'm gonna put one there. I don't usually put them over top of amplifiers, like a, a ghost one. Husks generally don't walk on that tile. Now we gotta go all the way to the top here. I think it's four across. And four like that. And we'll come up on top of this ridge right here. We'll just take some ceiling zappers. You won't have that many husks up here, so you could use zappers probably. There's a spawn up here. And wall darts. I just put three. Not that floor, that's just to get out there because you can't place them from here. Won't let you. Alright. Oh, one more tire, I see. There we go. Alright, I think we can do floors and ceilings. We'll go up that after. So down here at the beginning, right off spawn, wooden floor spike, and a floor freeze trap, and another one. And this is walking in the direction the husks walk. Make sure you place them the same way. This one you could put a freeze trap in here, or tar pit, whatever you want. I'm going to throw a freeze trap backwards. So that when they get uh, frozen and then they unfreeze or whatever, they will go that way. Otherwise it would push them out. 
and then two sound walls here. Uh, double reload. Alder. And then a single reload. Alder. And that's beside our wooden floor spikes. Could get rid of the zapper there if you wanted. And I did have a, a wooden floor spike there as well. But you could put a freeze trap instead, but I just went with wooden floor spike. And then two more dynamos inside this box here. So this is kind of like a flinger trap is what this is for. Flingers will come through here and then come out here and want to stand right here and throw. They like this spot. But you kind of got to force them there. That's why there's so much lobber shield all the way along the top and around the sides. Because they have the ability to throw from basically anywhere down in here. Down in here. I don't remember their range. I think it's seven or is it eight tiles? But it counted out. So our amplifier's here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's even almost nine. So, in honesty, they can throw from just about here, too. It's probably eight tiles, so here. So who knows? They might want to... They should be good. That's why I went with it all the way out to here. Because I think if that top row is missing, they might actually be able to stand right down here. Or even here or something. This is the east side, by the way. Home base is right there. Because, yeah, they were throwing everywhere <laughs> when I was building this. Down in the bottom there. Then they were on the other side. But I think we're done here. It's going to go all the way to the top here. So, amplifier. I'll just walk you through this real, real quick here. And then we'll go do that small tunnel out the other side. Oh yes, and uh, underneath the blocked off ramps here or whatever, the double wides, make sure you put a wall dynamo and a zapper underneath there. And same on this other side here, there's this one as well. Place a zapper, a dynamo, and our second double reload sound wall. Put a sound wall in there. That just discourages anything from being in there. Oh yes, one more floor freeze trap here. There we go. So it's two tire pits at the end, and then freeze traps. Three of them. They're spawn right out there. This is our little box over here. Wall dart back there might not need that much damage, but this definitely should be trapped out good enough for you guys. And kind of the reason it's so big and beefy is if you don't have enough trap durability and your traps start burning out, then you're still safe. Alright, let's go do this spot over here. And we're going to come all the way to the west here. To this place here. And we'll go with wall darts first. Probably don't need these three, but I'm going to put... Three wall darts across there, just because. And then wall dynamos. We'll have two there. Should need one there. And then I believe a wall dynamo there. 
And I think I had one there. This is just to discourage anything from coming in here. They were getting in here lots. A wall dart. And a wall dart. Husks are mean. <laughs> so I'm mean too. You wanna be mean to me? I'm gonna be mean to you. I did have a zapper. I think even these ones had zappers, but I was testing if they would hit them, because it is kind of low. Could throw a couple tires up. I didn't want to go all stupid trapping over here. Because I know it is all blocked off, but they still can go the long way. <clears throat> they could jump from there down there, come up this ramp, come up this ramp, and walk right into here. So I didn't want to block all this off and all that. So I just threw some traps out. The walls are there already. You're going to need them, otherwise they will path this way. Any hus husk that kind of spawns at the right at the corner there will go this way if this is open. That's why it's all closed off and blocked in. <clears throat> we'll start up in the front here. Close to the spawn side here. So the spawn is just over there. And we'll go ceiling zappers. All the way. And then we'll start up front again. So wooden floor spike. And then a floor freeze trap. And we'll put two of them. And the last tile is a tar pit. And then basically dynamos on each wall. wall darts in the corner here and a wall dart straight out the end and dynamos on these walls I think that's it I think I trapped her all out for you guys just make sure you're always looking that way and looking that way because the husks come through this direction because that will make a tunnel work or fail whichever now you can throw a wall dart here if you want it to be safe you don't have to I don't think much gets past about the corner or the first tile and out here really you don't need anything you can leave this wide open it's basically all all ways up or to get out here are trapped, so we're good. So wall darts all the way around the amplifier. Just make sure I didn't forget nothing. Now I chose a wall dynamo here instead of a wall dart. Because really once a husk gets about here, that wall dart's not gonna hit them. So you might as well just put a dynamo. Yeah, I think we're good. <clears throat> now, I've never seen them throw from this tile. I don't know why, but if you have to, you could just put it to put the one floor there, then that'll make them go here for sure. I never had one. They just walked right by and stood out here all the time. So I don't know if it's changed since now. And then, like, this tile, too, I don't think I had one there. I may have. I did change this since my uh, tour video. The lava shield is all a little different in here since we have crowd control back, which is nice. Could have put one more tire right there, but that's okay. I didn't, because it'll... tires will knock them down and they might fall down the ramp, so... Figured better not help them out. <clears> then <throat> out here's the same thing, nothing really trapped. Like these walls up here. I didn't put any traps there or anything. 
So I think we're done here. Right on. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Sorry, apologize for the longer video today. And, uh, yeah. Have a good day.